Monica Kaufman. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. Our first guest tonight is America's TV sweetheart. David Letterman has complained her perkiness has just got to stop. But it is that cheerfulness, the beauty pageant smile and presence that have made Mary Hart the one to turn to for a daily dose of news from Hollywood. This woman is the perkiest woman drawing air on this planet. Enter a world of excitement. Enter the world of entertainment tonight. Yeah, I love Mary Hart on that show. Mary. Three. Coming to VT Two. One. Up music. Stand by this all three. It's all Q. Hello, Rob. I'm Mary. I am Mary Hart. She has greeted America just that way every weekday for seven years now. Legs crossed, smile ever in place. Every day at noon, you'll find Mary Hart at her E.T. desk at the famous Paramount Studios. Taping the show, over nine million fans will eat dinner to that night. Hobnobbing in Hollywood is what she does behind the scenes. Not bad work if you can get it. She got it when she was fresh off the canceled We Just Philbin show. Her first shot at a national audience. You ladies have worn those swimsuits, going to the beach, lying in the sand, and if you don't fill out those cups, you stand up and they're concave. <laughs> you remember that, having to punch them out? Not everybody. <laughs> a string of local TV hosting chores preceded that job, including a stint on Los Angeles' PM Magazine show. Welcome to PM Magazine. I'm Mary Hart. And I'm David Sisson. <laughs> She won't eat. She taught high school in her home state of South Dakota as her first profession, though she knew even then of a different destiny. The first time I did a television show, which was as a senior in college, I knew that that's where my future lie. Lay. Lie. Lay. Lay. I don't know. You're Lay. the English teacher. I'm the English teacher, and I just corrected myself. That's where it would be. Reporting on the lives of the stars has put her among their ranks and afforded Mary their lifestyle. And on a good day, you can see Dodger Stadium just over the bend there. I love to sit right here and the dogs come out and join me and it's, it's so peaceful. She shares this house in Beverly Hills with TV and movie producer Bert Sugarman, to whom she became engaged on Valentine's Day with a multi-carat marquee-shaped diamond. The house is contemporary, but not cold. It's flooded with California sunshine. A model plane with workable engine takes to the vaulted skies of the great room. Bert loves to fly, so that's his baby. The flowers inside are from their gardens. The snapshots and designer frames speak of the small town girl with middle American values who made it big. Many a star has learned the hard way that an early career decision can come back to haunt you. When Entertainment Tonight started, it was not as sensationalistic as it is now. The numbers have gone up, obviously, the viewers like it. But for you, was that uncomfortable because your image is white bread, uh, apple pie, mom, the whole bit? There are times when there are stories that get a little bit too much. I, for example, um, during February sweep said, are we going to see more flesh? You know, we're pushing the boundaries. Television is pushing the boundaries. A lot of shows are going beyond the, beyond the boundaries of good taste, I should define, as far as I'm concerned. But um, by and large, I'm still proud of entertainment tonight. I see you sitting there and you say, uh, the flesh, and I immediately go to your legs because that's one of the highlights of the show. Your legs are lit up. Oh, you're funny. How did that happen? Because I guess of the way, of, of the way I crossed them, and thank goodness for a good girlfriend and dance coach who said, Point your toe. It's more, it's more flattering for the line of the leg. I started getting mail about my leg cross. And my then manager uh, said, hey, if your legs are getting all that attention, I'm going to insure them. I mean, after all, Betty Grable insured hers for a million. Yours have got to be good for a cool two. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went crazy. <laughs> so does that mean you have to be careful what you do with your legs? Oh, heck, I'm too klutzy to be careful much. <laughs> Get ready to shape up. Shape up, shape up. If she is klutzy, she covers it well. 
She's a dancer and physical fitness nut. And for that reason, Avon's marketing and aerobics tape she produced. It's to be sold door to door. Her workout room at home rivals Richard Simmons. Now, that doesn't mean I take it to the extreme. I don't have four hours a day to spend making my body perfect. I'm not worried about being superwoman or perfection. What I'm worried about is feeling good, and I know that my high energy level, in part, comes from eating right and to a large extent comes from working out. One, two, three, and four. Her trademark high energy level allows her to stretch into other ventures. The last three years, she has performed on Circus of the Stars, a challenge she calls the most rewarding of her life. She and two partners own Customs Last Stand, producing video resume tapes for celebrities and corporations. And Mary has found happiness in her personal life with Bert Sugarman. At the time of our interview, they were anticipating marriage. I think you're 37 now. At 37, come on, why did you wait so long to get married? Were you waiting for a Bert Sugarman? I was waiting, I wouldn't even say a Bert Sugarman, I was waiting for Bert Sugarman. I was at a point where I thought, maybe I won't get married. You know, maybe this isn't going to happen. I've been single for a long time. But it's, it's wonderful when somebody understands your career, is supporting, supportive of what you do, and you can share ideas and experiences. And I'm interested in what he does. So there is no end to what we talk about and what we share. Now, will you become a stepmother? Because in my bio material, it said that he had once proposed to Anne Margaret, so I'm assuming he's much <laughs> older than you and he's, probably had been married before. He's so not be that much older. I mean, he's, uh, he's 50, but it's not, you know, it's not all that much. Yes, he has a son, so I'm stepmother to somebody who's very close to my age. But, uh, in fact, that's very depressing to think about. It's weird. <laughs> no. I'm crazy about Randy, his son. Do you all plan on having children? Well, if we're that lucky, I mean, I would hope so. I think so. When's yeah. the wedding? Don't know. Will it be a we big one or a little one? No, it's, it's, you know what? I think we're going to go very private. Even for very your first private. wedding, a small wedding? We're going to have a small one. <laughs> Mary told me later off camera that this is not her first marriage. She was married just out of college. If you think it's curious that she didn't correct me when I called it her first wedding, well, maybe this will give you some insight. Yeah, there's always got to be some overlap. But I also think that it's real important to protect your private life. Mary is protective of her image as well. Her biography boasts of her belief in traditional family values. Her conversation is sprinkled with Midwestern goshes, darns, and gollies. She brags freely about her schoolteacher days, coaching the cheerleaders, leading Sunday school, and giving piano lessons to little children. What is the Mary Hart image? Now, David Letterman says you're perky, which you yeah. are, and he says you you're said too I was perky. white bread. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what is your image, really? Um, I cer it certainly is white bread, whatever that really is, but heartland of America. I mean, I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You don't get more mid-America <laughs> or small town than that. When I was six, seven, and eight years old, I lived in a town of 1800. That's uh, not in the 1800s, but uh, <laughs> you know, Chamberlain, South Dakota, population under 2000. And I think that really, I guess that just makes me very normal. Are you ever a bitch? Gosh, <laughs> I have to say, absolutely never. <laughs> 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 that wouldn't make me normal, would it? Hmm. I mean, what sets I guess you I off? Times. I mean, I'm not a uh, you know a plate throwing, ashtray smashing maniac. <laughs> no, you'd probably go out and run laps. You're right. I do run laps. I distance walk for that very reason. That lets off the steam. All of that exercise really makes a difference. You served on Cosmos panel that looked at the status of women. I think that was in 1986. What did you learn that was a surprise to you? And then with what you learned. How are you going to change things? Even though someone may appear to be so successful and have it all together, we still, all of us, most of us, still go through the same feelings about how difficult it is to be a very contemporary 80s woman, professional, career-oriented woman, dealing with traditional values. Because at some point there's a conflict, and I, I would venture to guess you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Those things are not easy. She makes it look easy. A former school teacher, former Miss South Dakota from Sioux Falls, 
now a TV host and businesswoman and song and dance performer. Last summer, she put those million-dollar legs on stages in Las Vegas and Atlantic City. For. You don't see like uh, Peter Jennings doesn't do a lot of dancing, you know? I love to do it all. But you can't do it all. Now, come on. For the future, she reads and considers sitcom scripts with the thought she'd like to have her own show someday. But right now, her job and her life are too good to take that risk. Right now, she really does do it all. Finally. Mary Hart lacks what? I lack... Oh. Oh, I lack patience at times. And what don't you lack? What's the one thing you have an abundance of? Energy and enthusiasm. If you're an Entertainment Tonight fan, you probably already know Mary Hart got married since we visited her. She and Bert Sugarman tied the knot in a private ceremony on April 8th. Our best wishes to them. Tonight's program is brought to you by Kraft, which brings you good food and good food ideas. And by Reebok, the physics behind the physique.